at least once a year, I ask my classes how they use their cell phones. And I usually, before I ask how they use their cell phones, I ask how many of them have smartphones. And there may be, although I don't, yeah, I had one student this semester said he didn't have a smartphone, he had a slide phone, but he had an iPad. So there you go. Out of all of my students asked, everybody had either an iPad or a tablet or a smartphone. So the question is still relevant. How do you use those phones? And they go through their litany of fun things that they use them for, playing games, listening to music, texting, and then I remind them that what they have is actually a computer that they can hold in their hand that is more powerful than the, compu than the computer that was used to land a man on the moon. And this blows their little minds, but I'm not done yet because by now they know that they can get an app on their phone for Canvas and they can actually take their class on Canvas. Yes, there's an app for that, which makes them very excited. The next thing that happens is I tell them that they can do, um, well, they've watched a video on LexisNexis and how to use LexisNexis at this point, and I tell them that they can actually research their entire speech on their phone using the Butler Online Library Database and LexisNexis, and they don't believe me. So the next 30 minutes of class, is me, I want to be a little gentle how I say this, but there is no way to be gentle, proving to them that I am right and they are wrong and that's always fun, they can actually do this. So they've picked a speech topic by now and I instruct them to get on their phones and to get on Butler's website, I prefer to go this way. I guess you don't have to, but I prefer to go this way rather than just going through the Canvas app. Get on the Butler's website, log on to, uh, log in to Canvas from there, get into the class, and in the left-hand margin, they will see the library, online library uh, tab. They then click on that, and once they're in the online library from Canvas, then they want to, um, you'll be proud of me. I'm in some traffic, and I'm actually paying more attention to the traffic than I am my vlog, so you're just going to have to be patient until I get there, and we're good. Everything's moving smoothly again, so back to you guys. Um, then I want them to get into LexisNexis, which point of contention for me, LexisNexis is in databases where you would expect it, expect it to be, but it's hidden under newspapers for some reason. And anyone who's an active member of LexisNexis knows that it's more than just newspapers, but I digress. Okay, so they're now in LexisNexis, and I tell them, well, wait, they're not all on LexisNexis. At this point, in a class of about 20, I have maybe half of them who say, I can't get into the, I can't do it from here. I can't do it. I, there's, I, it's not showing up. Or I get to LexisNexis and it's a plain white screen. And the screen where you're supposed to search isn't, isn't there. And I remind them that Walt Disney's least favorite words were can't. And if you were a Disney Imagineer and you said the word can't in front of Walt Disney, you were out of there. And I told them that it was a little bit like that in my class. So don't tell me you can't get to LexisNexis from your phone because I know you can. Well, then we were down to iPhone users. You could get on and on and on Android, but you couldn't get on on like on uh, iPhone. So I have an iPhone, 
and I showed them that I was on, well, you must have an older version, or you have a newer version, or you haven't done the update, or you have a different carrier. So we go through all of this. Eventually, we're down to just two students who cannot get on. One student is still saying, I can't. I can't get on, but for some reason, I can't use it. I said, all right, what do you see on your screen? Well, it's white, and LexisNexis is way up at the top. I said, is there any little print? Is there anything you can click on? Well, yes, up in the upper right-hand corner, very tiny, there's an option called Find. I said, well, click on Find. Guess what happens? The search section comes up. This is the, the student who absolutely positively said, I can't do this. My phone won't do this. I said, so what do you say now? And he said, I was wrong. I said, very good. Now we move on. There's one more student in the back on the left. He still can't get on and we've determined, he's determined that that's because he's a T-Mobile user and that's the problem. So I then, that's very interesting. We have a fire. Well, it looks like somebody's watching it. We have a fire next to the road, but it doesn't look like it's unreported, so I'm not gonna worry too much about that right now. Um, he's a T-Mobile user and we've determined, or the class has determined that that's the problem. Well, I hand him my phone and I said, look, I want you to be able to, to be able to find a source using your phone so you can use my phone since yours isn't working. And there's another student back there who's working with him and they're going back and forth, back and forth. And eventually he said, I got my phone to work. So now out of 20 students, all 20 students have access LexisNexis on their phones in class. Next item is they have a topic. I want them to research using LexisNexis one thing. I just need one source on LexisNexis and they've got 15 minutes to do it. Okay, you can imagine there's a little grumbling, a little pushback, but they succeed. Now, I want them to email me that source. So I ask them to, and up in the upper right hand corner, there's a little thing looks like an envelope. Click on that. I gave them my email address. Email me that source. Got it? Got it. Now, I want them to one by one come up to the podium. You know where this, where this is going. This is today's podium participation points. They came to the podium one by one. They uh, cited their source by telling me where they found their source. And by now they all know LexisNexis is not the source. It found their source, but it's not their source. They say out loud what their source is. And then they tell me the date of the source, the author or byline of the source, and the title of the article. And then they can sit down. And then I ask them for the moral of this story. And they're, they're actually a pretty smart class. And they said, there's no excuse for not being able to research our speeches. And I said, that's exactly right. You win, you get an A for the day. You all win, because now you know how to use LexisNexis and you can do it from your phone and you have your first credible source for your first speech. It's a win-win. Woohoo! And that's my vlog for the day. Thanks for listening.